Now, I was going to go on camera for this video, but it takes a little too long to edit that together. And the situation we're in right now, uh, globally, geopolitically, is imminently dire. So, I'm just going to go over this. Uh, how this all started, within the past few weeks, how this has played out uh, in Syria, on the Turkish border, etc. It's important to know, first and foremost, that Russia seems to legitimately be destroying ISIS. Okay, and this is an article from, what, two days ago? Yesterday! Russian airstrikes destroy 472 terrorist targets in Syria in 48 hours. 1,000 oil ta tankers in five days. Wow. Wow. Now, what was it that Turkey announced to Putin? Immediately before Russian officials made this announcement right here, Turkey threatened Putin to stop bombing ISIS. So what happened? Well, Russia said no. Well, like, no, we're not going to stop bombing ISIS. Screw you guys. Sort of thing. And obviously now we're seeing the fruits of Russia's response or non-response to Turkey's warning. Unbelievable. Um, of course, Turkey is a member of NATO who has proven to be harboring and funding and supplying and helping out the Islamic State and other rebels in Syria. And you know what? Let's be honest. Let's be brutally honest. So has the United States. In a recent Pentagon document leaked a few months back, as reported on here by Zero Hedge, reveals that the U.S. actually created ISIS as a tool to overthrow Syria's President Assad. Uh, but we have all of NATO involved, like I said. Okay, Turkey, highly involved on the ground, uh, really making deals. You have Turkish officials. Uh, they've been busted over and over again making deals with ISIS. When it comes to the United States, when it comes to more of the uh, westernized uh, NATO countries, it's under the, under the radar. A black ops sort of thing. With Turkey, no, they just do it out in the open. But the point is, NATO, all of these countries, okay, it's a sick joke. Now, I know what some of you are asking. Wait a minute. What about France? They're in NATO. Haven't they been bombing ISIS? Haven't they been bombing the evil Islamic state? Yeah, they have. You know how many targets they've hit since those attacks on Paris on Friday the 13th, 2015, in November? You know how many ISIS targets they've hit? Four. They've hit four targets. That's according to the Washington Post. And look, this is what the article, this is the title of the article. Why French airstrikes on ISIS's capital probably haven't done much. <laughs> well, gee whiz. Yeah. And what about the United States? Aren't they bombing ISIS? Well, they are bombing oil tankers, supposedly, um, that ISIS is profiting off of. You know what they're doing, though? You know, you know what the United States is doing, right? They're dropping pamphlets for these uh, Islamic extremists and giving them 45-minute uh, warnings so nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, we're going to bomb you, but here, here's a pamphlet. These are, these are supposed enemies of the West, right? But no, we're just going to drop them pamphlets and give them warnings so... Uh, nobody's killed. None of these quote-unquote enemies of the United States, of the West, of NATO, are killed. <laughs> you really think the intention of the United States, the intention of France is to destroy ISIS? It doesn't seem that way. To me, it doesn't seem that way. And Turkey's on board with with... with 
with NATO, with all these people, and they're the ones shooting down Russian uh, fighter jets, Russia being the ones who are bombing ISIS. So what does this look like to you? Russia is <laughs> outspokenly um, for the uh, Assad and uh, the Syrian government and against ISIS, and the actions back that up. Um, and then, well, then you have the United States and, um, you know, the West saying that they're against Assad, but also against ISIS, right? Yeah. Bullshit. And this secret Pentagon document proves it. These fake airstrikes prove it. These pamphlets being dropped, telling ISIS to get out of there because we're about to bomb you. Prove it. What do you want me to say? All right. I'll leave links to all this, everything I just said, in the description box below.